Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are just seeing this channel on my face for the first time, welcome, welcome. And if you're my referring subscriber, a very big welcome to you. You know I love you so much. And so let's dive into what we have for today. So today I'll be taking you through the anatomy of a sewing machine. I'll be using my manual sewing machine here as a guide. But all the parts I'll be mentioning in this video are present in your sewing machines. So do check them out in your sewing machine. Whether you are a fashion designer or you're just starting out your fashion design career, or you just want to know how the sewing machine op works or operates or the parts of it, this video will surely be beneficial to you. So follow me on this journey. Let's talk. So the sewing machine is made up of several components that helps it function very well. And together, they all work, they all go hand in hand to ensure that the sewing machine is running smoothly. Mm -hmm. So the first thing I'm talking about today is the balance wheel. This component, this component is called the balance wheel. And what it does is that it controls the movement of your needle. And for sewing machine that has, has this part, that has the leg, we call this component the leg component, while this part is the head. So for sewing machines that have the leg component, it also controls the foot pedal. I'll be showing you the foot pedal later, but it's also another important component. That foot pedal is the part that your legs are on. But for just um, sewing machines that, that for hand sewing machine, it controls just this needle so what the, what the balance wheel does is that it controls the movement of the needle okay so the next thing i'll be talking about is the presser foot and the presser foot lifter so this is the presser foot lifter this thing and this is the presser foot this one so what this presser foot lifter does is that it lifts the presser foot so you put your fabric then you drop it down back so this is the presser foot lifter the presser foot lifter and the presser foot okay so another one i'll be talking about is the needle bar the needle bar it's called needle bar you can this thing that is moving up and down i'm using this to show you so that it will, what i'm doing will be clear so just look at the move watch the movement of this icon so this is the needle bar once you once you roll your balance wheel, it moves up and down. Is the needle bar here? So then now, also next thing I'm talking about is okay. I didn't mention the function. Sorry, guys. So the needle bar houses the needle. That's what it does. It houses the needle. Let me see if I can. Let me roll this. So it houses the needle. While well, this item is called the lock screw, or this item is called the lock screw or this one, the lock screw or the needle clamp. So what does screw do basically to tighten joints? So this needle bar, once you put your needle, you use the lock screw to tighten it so that your needle won't fall off. The next thing I'm talking about is the slide plates. Slide plate from the word slide, it's lights. And it's flat, so it's the plates. <laughs> so the slide plates. These slide plates act like a coverage for the components that are inside. You know, the, the sewing machine also has internal components. So this slide plates just acts like a covering. Yeah, and also a support for your clothes. So that while sewing, your clothes will be going inside. I don't know if that makes sense. Then this is called the needle plates. This part too also supports the internal components of your sewing machine and it also like provides support while sewing as well. But I feel the main reason is to provide the internal components. Then I'm going to this is a feed dog. So this is a feed dog. This part. I don't know if you can see this part that looks like teeth. Some people used to call it teeth. But the real name is feed dog. 
this is what helps your swim your, your sewing to be smooth once this part has problem it has to be changed whether it's broken or it's crashed or anything it just has to be changed it's that important in your sewing machine this is called the spool pin this is what houses your thread let me bring a thread to show you so this is what houses the thread in some old sewing machines like the legends you see that this part you see that this part is either is either a nail or something that's because it has removed so what it does basically is that it houses the sewing machine i'm sorry the thread there's another one here i just want to believe that they do the same thing this part is called the stitch regulator but that you can take up and down so what it does is that it tightens your stitches so what this does is that it controls your stitches that's why it's called stitch regulator if you want your stitch to be tight you raise it up if you want it to be extremely loose you bring it down so it just regulates how your stitch looks the next thing i'll be talking about here is your it's called stop stop motion screw that's what it's called this one can you see it it's called your stop motion screw so what it does is that while the balance width is moving you can just once you hold it it stops it it stops the motion uh -huh. can you see it it's called stop motion screw then this is called bobbin winder this thing i've noticed that for most sewing machines this bobbin winder doesn't last yeah, but what it does is that it helps to reel your real thread into your bobbin. I'm going to be showing you bobbin and bobbin case. So that's what this bobbin winder helps to do. But mine currently is not working and for so many old sewing machines I've seen too, they, they don't work. So we just use the manual type with our hands. Next, I'll be showing you what this is. This is called the tension disc. It's called the tension disc. This is where you can tighten your thread or losing it. It's called tension. So do you, if you want to apply tension to the movement of your thread, this is where it is. Is that you? If you if you turn it um, anti-clockwise, you are you are losing the thread, the tension. But if you turn it clockwise, you are tightening you're increasing the tension or you're tightening the thread so this here this here is called a this particular one it's called a thread guide when you pass your thread from this pull pin you send it to the thread guide this here is called a thread guide okay so we've come down now to the leg parts this part where you put your legs this is called the foot pedal yeah <laughs> it's called the foot pedal so this is um this this part is being controlled by the balance wheel this particular um component this one it's called um thread take up when you pass your thread through the thread guide you have to pass it here so this component is called a thread take up okay so then this is a bobbin some people call it rila mm -hmm. i feel that's like the very common name for it rila but it's called a bobbin then this is called short tool or bobbin case what it does is that it houses the bobbin the bobbin is the component that controls the controls your sewing from inside so it houses the thread from inside while you put your thread on the spool pin you put that for the outer one then you put your thread on the bobbin for the internal part while the bobbin case houses the bobbin then i'm going to show you another part this part is called the shuttle carrier it carries the bobbin and the bobbin case it's called the shuttle carrier in our next videos when i'll be showing you how to sew with a sewing machine I'm going to show you how to fix all these things. So the first thing you need to know as a beginner, the first thing you need to know as a beginner is the parts and the function. Once you know the parts, you know their names, you know how they work, the other videos I'll be making will be very easy for you. So just make sure that you understand this part because it's very, very important. 
then for some sewing machines they come with lockers for your thread and every other thing you want to put they just come with lockers two lockers they're about okay guys so i hope all i all the parts i showed you were very clear to give you a summary what i said was that the sewing machine as a whole is is made up of two parts the head and the leg though the head is like the major component while the leg is just for just for control and support but the head is a major component the head has so many parts which i mentioned that this part is called the balance wheel because it controls the needle movements and it also controls your foot pedal then i also mentioned that this part is called the spool plane because it houses the trade i mentioned that this is called your bobbin case and this is called your bobbin in in local parlance reader short but bobbin 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 case and bobbin then i also mentioned that this part here inside inside this part is called your shuttle carrier which houses the bobbin and i call this sliding part i call this sliding plates slide plates and this part needle plates both of them they have to protect like the internal component this is called the tension disc it increases or reduces tension of your thread this is called thread take up or first this is called thread guide when you pass your thread from the from the spool pane you take it through the through the thread guide and this is called thread take up you pass it through through these parts then i mentioned this part here is called the needle bar it houses the needle then this part in front you can't see that but the camera is facing me this part is called your stitch regulator it controls the tightness of your stitch yeah then bobbin winder to help um wind your bobbin or reel your bobbin you sorry reel the thread into the bobbin and i also said that for most old manual sewing machines i've seen the it happens that the bobbin winder is no longer functional so in that video the next video where i'll be showing you how to use your sewing machine i'm going to show you how to how to um, wind thread onto your bobbin without the bobbin winder so i think that's all for that and i also show you the foot pedal the part you keep your feet while sewing yes your lock screw or your needle clamp it helps to tighten the the needle onto the needle bar okay guys so that's it for that's it for the part of your sewing machine and the function i hope with this video you've been able to know the parts of your sewing machine i just hope you've been able to understand the parts of the sewing machine their names and also their functions okay guys so this series this this is going to be a a long series for this for beginners i'm going to be taking you through your sewing machine how it works how to use it how to maintain it and i'm going to be tagging this series my sewing machine series so please do subscribe to my channel because there are going to be so many engaging and there are going to be so many engaging videos on this topic and as a beginner, I'm here to tell you that you should not be afraid to start up. I know looking at the sewing machine, it looks so complex. You don't know how to navigate it. That's why this series is here for you. So just follow me. Subscribe to my channel so that you can get updates on the videos. And also, share with your community. Share with your friends. And you can also support me by liking my videos. And also share your thoughts and opinions in the comment section and i'm also leaving the i'm leaving the comment section open if you have a video in mind that you really want me to 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 create for you so that you can understand please post it in the comment section i'm going to attend to every one of them okay guys so till next time stay positive stay awesome stay stylish and just be happy